doing its uh, deal. Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Monday's trading session, the 14th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Singler signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesingler.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's see exactly where we stand in terms of European markets, certainly having a stellar session. Certainly a short squeeze certainly seems to be uh, underway, even though we have concerns with regards to the racism and the Nazi slurs in uh, in Charlottesville in Virginia over the weekend. Um, Mr. Trump's lack of uh, uh, condemnation of the uh, the actual terrorist incident surrounding the uh, the poor girl who was basically run over by with a car. Uh, blatant act of terrorism basically has not been uh, rebuked or admonished in any way. It hasn't even been acknowledged. Okay, he's sort of, he's blaming both sides when the innocent party were, were the protesters, are obviously uh, certainly uh, putting forth the argument that uh, this society or American society has no place for Nazis, white supremacists, and racist bigots. But that then again, I think we all know, folks. Uh, given his um, his his background, and even his father was part of the the, Ku, the Triple K Ku Klux Klan, so. It, there's no surprise there that he has uh, racist tendencies, uh, especially given the fact that he's against Mexico and against immigrants and, and so on and so forth. But again, what goes around comes around. So uh, there's always uh, some sort of justice eventually. So let's see what happens. Uh, again, if anything, he's destroying American society, destroying America's moral uh, high ground, destroying Im the American image globally. And, and really, is there any respect left for America? Unfortunately, there's none. Uh, certainly bankrupt from that perspective now and it's certainly sad to see those scenes especially given the fact that uh, World War One, World War Two was fought basically against that very uh, art obviously creed ideology and yet it finds itself in um, in American society today this is 2017 so all those individuals that lost their lives fighting against Nazism okay and now see that in their very own country which is sad but that's American for you, unfortunately. Um, it really is crazy times there. Thank God we live in the UK and we're blessed to be in, in part of the European Union. Well, whatever's left of it anyway, post-Brexit. So either way, that's status quo. It's sad. Um, you just feel sorry for the Americans. That's all you can do. And just pray that they actually get a, a better leader. Even though, I mean, Obama probably was the best leader in the last God knows how many, 15, 20, 30 years. I don't think they'll get a leader like Mr. Obama again. Either way, at least he was articulate and he had a brain. So, uh, again, that, that may well be a dig at Mr. Trump, but I think you already know my opinion regarding Mr. Trump. I think any intelligent person uh, understands. Uh, really, he's nothing but a bigot. Okay, so that's that's where we stand. So, uh, the market certainly is ignoring Charlottesville. Uh, is certainly ignoring the situation in over North Korea as well. Certainly seems like the market's embracing risk again. You can see the FTSE 100 up 37 points, up 0.5%, 7350. German DAX is up a whopping 144, up 1.2%. The French CAC very impressively up one percentage point. The IMEX stocks, FTSE MIB all the higher, okay, so across the board. So that certainly seems to be the status quo in Europe. European markets certainly are bouncing. Uh, certainly a short squeeze is uh, certainly underway. Uh, in terms of economic data today, we've had uh, a mixed set of readings overnight. We had... Uh, the uh, Japanese GDP numbers coming in stronger than expected, therefore in indicating that uh, there will be less a chance of uh, of any further QE. If anything, it will be more tapering. Okay, so again, watch out for the yen. Certainly looking for strength in the yen. Obviously, yen strength in the yen has been helped, and also CHF has been helped by the uh, risk-off trade. Okay, uh, in terms of Chinese data out overnight, it certainly uh, came in weaker. Retail sales weaker, industrial production weaker urban investment weaker so everything indicating towards a weaker side also in terms of european industrial production data that certainly came in on the weaker side as well so so one good print and two negative prints okay and that's where that's basically where we stand okay so uh, euro usd back below that 1.18 zone okay it certainly seems like uh, investors are coming out of bonds or bonds shall we say if you look at the european bonds here european bonds certainly bid in the back of that safe haven trade uh, and you can see that safe haven trade certainly is reversing. You can clearly see it on a on a 60 minute chart. Okay, you can see it here. So you can see bonds selling off, money going into equities or money rotating into equities, and that certainly seems to be the trade at present. So if we uh, look at the daily chart, you can see that we were now coming into resistance on the bonds, regardless. Okay, and you are seeing the euros USD certainly moving as well. Bear in mind also as well that uh, euro USD trade certainly seems to be some sort of uh, 
uh, a flight to safety trade as well so whenever there's risk off euro generally catches a bid bonds catch a bid so the uh, the qe trade certainly goes into reverse either way that's the status quo okay let's look at the technical picture now the german dax here okay looking at the daily chart german dax you can see we've bounced off that key support level at 11940 certainly an impressive bounce here nevertheless 60 minute chart on the german dax at the moment we're currently slamming into that fib 60 one percent now okay we've been consolidating here uh, certainly an impressive gap higher just bear that in mind so there's your gap below uh, you have that gap okay just just above 12,000 so you've got 12,013 and then obviously you've gapped higher quite impressively today so you are now coming in or slamming into that fib 61 percent bear that in mind that's certainly your key resistance zone 10 minute chart at the moment you do have key resistance in this region again you have the unfilled gap above if the market obviously continues to rally but very unlikely given the uh, status quo okay moving on to the french cac here very impressive french cac certainly has closed that gap very impressively so we are looking for gap fill but having said that you've actually left a gap behind so you close one gap and you create another one okay and that certainly seems to be the status quo so 10 minute chart certainly into resistance on the french cac 60 minute chart you are seeing gap fill and you are looking at previous support equals resistance and therefore you are looking for weakness here okay you can see here we close the french cat close the gap at 5050 and we've certainly been bouncing ever since so you are now coming into resistance for the french cat so just bear that in mind okay daily chart as well bouncing off gap fill okay so certainly a typical bounce here from a technical perspective in terms of european equities moving on to the euro stocks let's just quickly move on here euro stocks certainly enjoying a, an impressive bounce as well you are now coming into resistance on the euro stocks too you've left a gap behind okay from my perspective certainly looking to be exhausted in terms of the FTSE 100 last but not least the FTSE itself looking at the daily charts a bounce from 7300 more or less expected we've certainly ex experienced that bounce now 60 minute chart now is coming into resistance where previous support equals resistance so therefore you are looking for risk aversion and risk off and looking for the market to move lower uh, from a um, uh, technical perspective you are now into that fib 61 or approaching that fib 61 and 50 percent as well are the two key resistance zone therefore looking for risk aversion given the fact that you've left an unfilled gap behind at 7310 that's the gap that certainly needs to close okay so that's where we stand okay that's the situation that's where we stand in terms of the market okay folks uh, on that note please be sure to visit trade signal and uh, certainly download the latest app and be sure to visit cfts.com and certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye now then.